by Finnan to the opposite flank John Arderisa Huel oh what a great ball that is and slid home Vladimir Smitzer on the end of a brilliant through ball by Harry Huel Liverpool take the lead a quarter of an hour gone well Bob Sean should have had a look at the analysis that we did at the top of the programme I talked about the runs from central midfield from Vladimir Smitzer just have a look at his position there and no one goes with him that's awful defending really from Charlton you know if the midfield player isn't going to track Smitzer then one of the centre halves has got to pick him up but full credit to Harry Kuehl he spots the pass great first touch by the Czech international and how composed is he with the finish goalkeeper coming quickly to his feet a little ding over Kylie thank you very much in 1-0 fabulous finish seems to be getting better and better for Gerard Hulley. Hoopier following way out. Parker. Lisby in the box. Jensen in behind him. Lisby's header could have caused Liverpool a problem. Should have been a problem, Alan. That's a great chance, you know. Alan. Oh. It's a good goal in. Lisby looking bright and lively early on here. And then takes the ball off him, though, and that's good by by the former Fulham man. He got that a little late. Parker now. And a good ball. And in the middle is Lisby. He must have inches away from making contact. That's so play was by the home side. Really the first great chance that had really ought to have been converted. I said I had a real worry about him getting goal this afternoon. But it didn't come any better than that. The chances go. Just nicked away from the onrushing Stewart. Liverpool can see the throw. Well, certainly a couple of good opportunities for Kevin Lisby. One header which he ought, ought to have done better with. This opportunity is a fabulous run from Luke Young from the right back position. He really did take the initiative to Liverpool. And it just needs the merest of touches by one of the strikers. It was Lisby in there. He can't get that crucial touch. Well, certainly confidence short on goals Kevin Lee but he needs to keep himself going here's Jensen Bartlett cross towards Lisby clever header actually it's still never convincing isn't it and I think that's the problems that Charlton have got when they have got into that final third they need to have a little bit more belief in themselves when they get into this position that they're going to score goals here's a chance for Lisby against Dudek and he's taken it half an hour gone Charlton are level well I wondered how the youngster would respond after he missed a couple of chances in this opening half hour and there's your answer, absolutely superb finish, some sloppy pay really from Liverpool. It's a fabulous first touch from Graham Stewart, the flying Lisby who made a superb run forward. And then he's 1v1, the keeper has certainly committed himself very early indeed. And very similar in many respects to the goal from Vladimir Schmitter. He finds the perfect chip over the goalkeeper into the back of the net and even Paolo can celebrate. Finnan. It's come to Heskey. He's offside. That's well, a good decision, I think, from the referee's assistant when I first looked at it. The little nick from Michael Owen near post. There's a little flick. Emil Heskey. Yeah, you can see he's offside. Good decision. Good finish, to be fair, from the big man. A lot of power behind that shot with his left foot. Mr. Proctor Green They're getting posh of these lines. <laughs> <laughs> Lupia, 
made a mistake here that could be very costly. Save by Duda. Bartlett and Lisby are both on fire at the moment, and Lisby who scored the goal almost added a second then. Klaus Jensen with the free kick. That's a good looking one, and Liverpool are guilty of letting Bartlett escape all the marking. That's a fabulous ball, isn't it, from Klaus Jensen, and really no one takes charge of the situation for Liverpool. That ball has travelled an awful long way, and you can see Sammy Hoopier there. Whether he's had a call from Shirty Dudek, I'm not quite sure, but this is a good opportunity again for Charlton. Now Jensen delivers the corner. Hartlett got it well, so did Bishkan, headed back in by Fish, and out by Hosky, and then back in by Bob. He's done it again! Lisby second, and Charlton from one down, lead Liverpool by two goals to one. Well, it's party time in the Valley at the moment, and no wonder the fans are enjoying themselves. But again, you've got to say, they haven't dealt with a set piece, and Charlton keep the ball alive. And the initial strikes, a good reaction save from Jersey Dudek, but he can't really stop the follow-up. And once again, 10 out of 10 for Kevin Wisby's anticipation. Yeah, his second goal of the game, and his second of the game, and in. It's Charlton who go off to a standing ovation from the Valley at half-time. And they deserve it. And so does he in particular. In Lisby with two opportunities Liverpool for some sloppy defence after Liverpool have taken the lead with a beautifully created and excellently finished goal Harry Kewell finding Vladimir Smitzer at that stage Liverpool in control at this stage most well, certainly not Open two Liverpool one Finnan Heskey was being held, I thought, and so did referee Styles more significantly, it's a penalty. Well, I totally agree. You know, I think once you make contact with forwards in situations like that, now Heskey is a big fellow, we know that, and you know he's a difficult customer to deal with, but Chris Perry's all over him. And Heskey's just really lent in against him, and once you make contact like that, like we saw last week at Old Trafford, when Diego Forlan went down in the last minute from the challenge of Martin Keown, you know, you're always going to run the risk, and I just wonder whether it'll be even more punishment, of course. Perry booked in the first 40 minutes. Will he get the red card? Five red cards, Mr. Styles has shown this season, and that's the penalty he ordered as well. Telling everyone not to encroach as Michael Owen steps up with a great chance to bring Liverpool level early in the second half. Eight goals in eight games for Michael Owen. His fourth successful spot kick of the season. Well, the really the form that he's been in, I really would have been amazed if he'd missed that. As cool as you like, sending the keeper the wrong way. Parker. And Jensen. Played some very good football today, though, inside. Young sees the opportunity to keep going. Jensen's cross is dangerous. And Reese's clearance uncertain. Gerard, Luke Young still there. And a crazy little double deflection ends up with a goal kick. Well, they got, little, they got lucky little ball on the end there. The Charlton players just remonstrating with the referee once more. And I just wonder whether they thought if Luke Young went down here under the challenge from Steven Gerrard, if he'd gone down there, you know, I think the referee might have given a penalty. And here's Kewell and Heskey held it up brilliantly. Harry Kewell! Great save by Kylie! Oh, that's a beautiful move, is it, from Liverpool? And it's a fantastic save from the Charlton goalkeeper, Ian Kylie. Good old up play, and there's almost a disguise there on Harry Kuehl, fantastic save. Jensen, and a chance here for Parker to lead the counter-attack. Stewart, and ahead of him as ever is Lisby. Now then, interesting challenge. Well, 
Steve Finnan is a very, very lucky man here, I think, because he really does get caught out position. It's a swift break from Charles, it's a good spot from Graham Stewart, but just have a look at Lisby, gets in behind Finnan, was there an element of holding the Charlton player back, referee is right on the spot here, he gets off in a good position, perhaps also an element of how to poor finish in the end. Kishishev fails to get his first touch as Liverpool win it back with Emil Heskey getting in behind Powell. Oh, and inevitably he's in the centre. Not a good save by Kelly. Kewell. Here's Murphy for Liverpool. And Kylie there again. He's one short of the 500 free game in his career. Kylie. It's a career that's in the lower reaches with a lot of York and Berry. Away to the World Cup finals, the Republic of Ireland. And in the second half, he has made two or three splendid stops. Young defender John Fortune, who has figured in most games this season prior to today, was by the manager's admission a little unlucky to be left out as Chris Hurley came in to partner Fish in the starting lineup. Powell's giving it away to Heskey. Chief. Cure wants the ball in the middle. Ooh, that was important. Clearance is still reached. Cure. And now a block by Fortune. Jarrett. Cure. Too close to the deeper, obviously. Just look how open this football match is. It's incredible, isn't it? One moment Liverpool attacking. The next moment, Charlotte will run it close. There they go. He's about to get. And the Kevin Lisby goes off to a hero's welcome. Even Paolo gives him an all too friendly slap on the backside. Jonathan Johansson on in his place. Cure for Liverpool. They haven't finished yet. And brilliant play by Harry Cure. Can he finish? Oh, outside of the post. Oh, well, we've had everything, haven't we, in this football match? We really have, and what a fantastic finale that would have been. Wonderful skill from Harry Q. Gets him into a shooting position, really hasn't got any sort of angle to hit. And he unleashes a wicked left foot, beats a goalkeeper, but can't beat the post. And it looks as though Liverpool aren't going to be awesome. Awesome. It's all down to Mr. Styles now. How long we have left? And there's the answer. Kevin Lisby's first hat trick of his senior career has produced a memorable win for Charlton Athletic. And Liverpool have lost at the Valley. The Happy Valley, as far as these home fans are concerned today. And there's no happier man in the ground than the young Jamaican international who deserves every moment of glory that he's getting now. He's had his critics here this season. He's gone off the field before to the sound of boos. He went off today just before the final whistle to the sound of a standing ovation which will still ring in his ears as he disappears down the tunnel. Liverpool have paid the price for some sloppy defending. Kevin Lisby 
gets a handshake from Alan Kerbishley for some wonderful finishing. His third goal in particular, one of the strikes of the season. Wonderfully entertaining match. A big setback though for Liverpool a week ahead of the visit of Arsenal to Anfield. A glum-faced Gerard Houllier won't enjoy the journey home. They will. Charlton Athletic 3, Liverpool 2. Kevin, congratulations, hat trick hero, and you won it. You won it on your own, didn't you? No, 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 no. <laughs> far from it. Um, the lads played a big part in the victory today. We worked hard, and I done my, what my job is to score. Um, but the lads worked hard today as well. Go on, you can't you can't keep your excitement under control that well. I mean, that third one in particular, that's fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it's, um, it's always good to score um, a Premiership goal, much less against Liverpool like that. Um, so I'm just I'm just happy that um, I've got a hat trick today. When was the last hat trick you scored? Reserve team came quite a while ago, so I, I can't remember. It's been a while, but I've not scored a single hat trick, so it's always good to get one against Liverpool as well. And just speaking to the manager, I mean, he's always believed in you. He's always said you've got the quality to go and do something like this. So you, you know, you've repaid him, I guess. Yeah, well, he's, he's always kept faith in me. Um, even when the crowd has got on top of my back this season, um, he left me out, um, hoping that I could get my confidence back up and play a few reserve team games and see what happens from there. Um, but came on against Everton and scored a goal, and ever since then, my confidence has been high. And it wasn't just the three goals, I mean, you had, you had other chances as well, for sake. Yeah, well, who knows, Merv came in and said that I should have had five, but <laughs> I don't know about that. So, yeah, I should have hit the target on two other ones, but I'm just happy to get a hat trick. Any friends and family here to see you? Yeah, yeah, I've got, um, I've got my, my wife here and three of my friends and a little baby. So they, they, must, they must think this happens every week at Charlton? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, this is um, their first one, some of them, so, you know, I mean, they're probably upstairs drunk now waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Well, Cheers. Scott, congratulations on a personal performance that um, was noteworthy, but it was a fantastic team effort as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I think that was the main thing that came out of today's game. I think as a team, we've worked we've hurt, worked hard and, and really, you know, deserved deserved what we got out of the game. And you know, they were, they were a crucial three points for us, really. How badly did you need that win? Was morale beginning to slip a little? Um, I, don't, I don't think it was going to slip. I don't. I, that's the one thing I don't think we have it. You know, we got a tremendous team spirit, and you know, when when our backs are up against the wall, we seem to reduce something, and and that's down to the lads in that changing room because you know every one of them it, it hurts when when things ain't going well, and you know there was a little bit of concern because obviously we lose today, and you know you look over your shoulder a bit, but you know that win's crucial and it just lifts us up now, and we go into the Portsmouth game on a high. It was a real mountain to climb as well when you went one 0 down against Liverpool. I mean, counter-attacking team, they're, they're very good at closing up shop and, and grinding out the results, but you, you didn't. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, Kerbs has said before the game we've, we've not really given ourselves a chance. We're, we're going one 0 down and, and not really being able to get back in the game. But you know, I think we just showed our character today and we have produced well. Kevin Lisbeth produced three, three fantastic goals and, and and it's been brilliant for us, really. Sven was in the stands. Were you aware of that? Uh, no, I wasn't. No, no, no. And, you know, I, I keep having this question asked at me, and you know, it's difficult because really, my main aim is to play well for Charlton, and you know, obviously, if I can keep playing well for Charlton, you know, may, may, maybe the England call will come, and it's going to be difficult for me because because I'm at Charlton. But you know, it showed last year that uh, obviously he, he's willing to pick players from from our club. So you know, who knows? And it'd be a fantastic honour, wouldn't it, if you if you did make that step? Yeah, definitely. You know, as as as, as a young boy, and you know, it's it's the same really. You know, it's it's a, it's a dream to play, and and obviously I'm no different. But you know, my my main aim and is to play well for Charlton and for Charlton to get out of that league and and us to start doing well, really. I can't let you go without asking about the hair. Where are the braids gone? Uh, yeah, they've gone out. <laughs> <laughs> I um no, I just had them in for the game because I just wanted to keep keep me hair out of my eyes. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm at a stage now where it's getting a little bit messy, so <laughs> I'll have to see. I'll probably have it shaved off soon. <laughs> You're trying to remind Sven of another one of his players. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank all you. Right. Alan, terrific match to watch from the neutral, but from Charlton's point of view, that was a big, big win, wasn't it? Well, it was, um, but you know, we we hyped it up a little bit uh, this week because we haven't done ourselves justice, and we have to play a certain way for that to happen, and we've let ourselves down here. You know, uh, the nils we've come for for doing well was against Everton, you know, where we had a bit about us, but you know, the Man City games and the Man United games just just wasn't us, and uh, we needed everyone in there today. Uh, doing their best and, and doing what we're about and that's, that's working as hard as we can. 
but you really, I mean, at times, you managed to dismantle Liverpool. We've been doing so well, you know, going 1 0 up away from home. You'd thought that's a tough mountain to climb yeah, for a team like Charlie. Obviously, disappointed that we had a decent 15 minutes, I felt, and had a couple of chances ourselves to go 1 0 down, but uh, they dug in. You know, we're not at the best of times here. I know people are talking about the record, but I tend to forget last year because that was last year. It's all about now, and, uh, you know, we've had a tough start. Uh, Man City, May, Everton, May United, and, and now Liverpool, and now we've got Arsenal. So you've got to be realistic when uh, the fixtures come along, but we do need to pick more points up here because I think we're capable of picking points up away from home. Well, results like that are bound to give you team confidence, and a hat trick is exactly what gives strikers confidence. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of time for Kevin. He, you know, he does everything. And if you look at the goals he scored, a lot of them are self create if he, he does it all himself. But uh, we've got a lot of time for him and he just needs the goal. So I mean that sounds quite easy to, to ask, but obviously goal scoring is, is, is not that not that easy and uh, he's needed to score the goals. Kevin's third goal was special. Well yeah, I mean he's picked it up, I mean we've been under a bit of pressure and he's picked it up and uh, you know, he's a bit elusive and strong and he's, he's, when he, once he gets in his stride he's a bit deceiving as well and uh, we fancied that he'd go past the first one but then as it opened up, um, you know, it was a great one from Clash Jensen. But he's been practising that all week, you know, coming in from the left and, and bending it and I think he had a couple of options before that and they went well wide but that was a fantastic finish and got to be uh, in with a shout of uh, goal of the season, certainly goal of the month. And if you hadn't got that winner you might have felt a bit aggrieved because he did have a decent shout for a penalty then. Well we had no luck with refs. Um, you know, we had some terrible decisions to go against us up at Villa last week, and uh, you know the, f the first game here we had a real dubious penalty against this Man City. So we've not had much uh, luck with the refs, but you know we'll keep saying we hope it's going to turn around. But I think we should have had a penalty ourselves today. The old rumour mill won't go away. Your name continues to be linked with jobs, particularly Spurs job. Have you got any sort of update for the Charlton fans on that yeah, situation? I mean, I, I, what can I say? I mean, I, I've said it all last week that um, I'm under contract, two and a half years. I'm happy here. Um, not got any thoughts about leaving, and, and that's how it is. Um, but you know, I get linked with with quite a few things. But uh, I'm still here. I've been here a long time. Uh, you know, you haven't seen me leave, and uh, you know, I'm quite happy. So, what can I say? And you have said that you would know when the time was sort of right to move on. That you've done all you can with Charlton. Presumably, it's games like this and performances like this. And yeah, I, feel, I uh, tend to think that. Um, you know, I'll be driving in one day and uh, you know, driving into the training ground, it's obvious, but I've been here 13 years, um, been a manager for 11, you know, and um, I'm sure I'll drive in one day and um, you know, it might be time, or the board or the crowd will tell me, you know, um, we've not had the best of starts uh, and the fans have been fantastic, absolutely fantastic, I mean even on Tuesday against Luton, where we've let four goals in and, and really struggled to put Luton away, they never got after anybody and uh, they were great great fan base we've got so uh, you know you've got to consider all that as well. So that time hasn't come? No and uh, as I said I, I think I know it when it has come. Uh, you know either they tell me or the chairman tell me or you know, I know it myself but uh, you know, I've, I'm hell bent on establishing this club as a, as a premiership club. But, you know it's not that easy it's a difficult task but uh, you know let's hope we can do it.